In 1977, NASA launched a small spacecraft called Voyager 1. At that time, it was not expected to change our understanding of the universe. It was designed only to take close-up images of Jupiter and Saturn and send them back to Earth. The spacecraft did not have advanced computers or modern technology. In fact, the average smartphone today is millions of times more powerful than the computer inside Voyager 1. But what Voyager carried was far greater than technology. It carried curiosity, a desire from humanity to know what lies beyond the familiar boundaries of our world. Voyager traveled to Jupiter first, and when it arrived, it revealed things no one had seen before. It showed massive swirling storms and a red spot larger than Earth itself. It captured volcanic eruptions on Jupiter's moon Io. Then it continued to Saturn, where it showed the delicate structure of Saturn's rings and the thick atmosphere of its moon Titan. Every time Voyager sent back a photo or measurement, scientists realized how little humans truly knew. The spacecraft had already exceeded expectations. But Voyager did not stop its journey there. After passing Saturn, there were no more planets planned for Voyager to visit. Yet, the spacecraft simply continued moving farther away from the sun. The light from the sun grew weaker. The planets disappeared behind it. The sun, which once filled Voyager's sky, slowly began to look like just another star. Space became darker and quieter. The spacecraft entered a region known as the Heliosheath, a chaotic zone where the solar wind struggles against the pressure of interstellar space. Inside this region, Voyager's sensors detected something unexpected. There was a sharp increase in temperature. Not temperature like we feel in daily life, but the temperature of charged particles in plasma, a state of matter where gas becomes electrically energized. The readings show that the temperature of this region reached nearly 50,000 degrees Celsius. This shocked scientists. It meant that at the very boundary of our solar system, there was a layer of superheated plasma. This layer behaved like a wall around the sun's influence. However, even though the temperature was incredibly high, Voyager did not burn. The plasma in this region is extremely thin. There are very few particles in it. Temperature is a measure of how much energy each particle carries, not how hot something feels. Because the particles are so sparse, even though they are extremely energetic, they cannot transfer that heat effectively. Voyager passed through this region unharmed, but the discovery was deeply surprising. Voyager had found an actual physical boundary to the solar system, not just a gradual fading, but a sharp, intense region of energy. Beyond this region lies true interstellar space. This discovery changed everything. Scientists had assumed the edge of the solar system would be smooth, like a gentle transition. Instead, it was a dramatic shift, a border created by forces pushing against each other. Voyager crossed this boundary and officially became the first human-made object to enter interstellar space. The moment this happened, the readings on Voyager changed completely. The solar wind disappeared. High-energy cosmic rays from the galaxy increased. The magnetic field direction shifted. Voyager had left the sun's environment and entered the environment between stars. Voyager continues to travel farther every second, moving through a cold, quiet region of the Milky Way galaxy. And it carries with it a golden record. On this record are sounds and messages from Earth, greetings in different languages, music, and recordings of waves, birds, and human laughter. If someone, someday, Somewhere in the galaxy finds Voyager, they will know that life existed on a small planet, near a small star, and that those beings wanted to reach beyond their limits. The discovery of the 50,000 degree plasma wall at the edge of the solar system changed how we understand our place in the galaxy. Before Voyager's data, scientists believed that the sun's influence gradually weakened until it simply faded away. But Voyager revealed something sharp and dramatic. The edge of the solar system is not a soft boundary, but a powerful shield made of superheated particles. This region forms because the solar wind travels outward from the sun at extremely high speeds. 
When it reaches a point where the pressure of interstellar space pushes back, it slows down suddenly. When something moving fast is forced to slow down quickly, its energy must go somewhere. That energy becomes heat, and the particles become extremely hot. This is what creates the plasma wall. Even though this plasma is incredibly hot, the particles are extremely spread out. If you are somehow able to place your hand into that region, you would not feel heat the way you do from fire. There are simply not enough particles to transfer heat to you. So the spacecraft is safe. The wall is energetic, but thin. In a way, it is more like a faint mist made of powerful particles rather than a burning flame. This boundary is very important because it protects the solar system from high-energy cosmic radiation. Outside the heliosphere, the galaxy is filled with cosmic rays, particles moving at near the speed of light, capable of damaging DNA and destroying atmospheres. If Earth were directly exposed to these rays, life would struggle to survive. The plasma boundary and the heliosphere act like a shield, reducing the amount of radiation that reaches Earth. This means that the sun is not only a source of light and warmth, it is also a protector. Without this shield, our planet might never have developed stable environments where life could form. This protective bubble is one reason life exists at all. However, the heliosphere is not permanent. It depends on the sun's energy. Over billions of years, the sun will slowly change and eventually weaken. When the sun weakens, the heliosphere will shrink. When that happens, more cosmic radiation will enter the solar system. This could affect the climate of planets and possibly the survival of future human life. Understanding the heliosphere is not just scientific curiosity. One day, this knowledge may be necessary for survival. Voyager's journey also raises new questions. Does every star have its own heliosphere? Are there stars whose bubbles are stronger or weaker? What happens when these bubbles collide? Could regions of the galaxy exist where life cannot survive because there is no protective shield? Voyager has only given us the first hint of answers. There is much more to learn. Now that Voyager is in interstellar space, it is traveling through a region filled with cold gas, dust, magnetic forces, and cosmic rays. There are no planets here, no light, and no sound. Only emptiness. Yet Voyager continues, silent and steady, carrying the record of humanity. It will travel for billions of years, long after Earth has changed or disappeared. In that vast future, Voyager will be a message from a lost world, a memory of human existence. The spacecraft will not last forever. Eventually, its power source will run out, its instruments will go silent, it will become a dark piece of metal drifting between stars. But it will still be moving, still traveling, still carrying our story. Humanity has always looked up at the sky and wondered what lies beyond. Voyager is the answer to that desire. It is proof that even small, fragile beings from a small world can reach beyond their boundaries. It shows that curiosity is stronger than fear, and exploration is stronger than limitation. As long as Voyager travels, the journey of human curiosity continues.